Tonight, a heartbreaking moment between family members in court. A mom waiting to be sentenced for her son's death. His dad holding his urn described unimaginable loss. Evan Millward joins us live now with a case and a father's feelings. This one really is a heartbreaker, Evan. Uh, one of some of the most powerful words I've heard in court in a long time, Kristen. Dominique Allen was reported missing last year in September. Investigators now say he was dead. He had been dead for weeks before he was found inside his mother's house. She'll spend 11 years in prison. His dad, though, will live with this loss forever. I don't know what I could possibly say. Marcus Allen holds his son Dominique's ashes in court. But this is all I have left. This is all I have left. This is all that I have left. He's talking directly to Dominic's mom, Kenya Stallworth. I don't, I don't have words. About to be sentenced for his death and for keeping his body wrapped up, sealed off in a bedroom to stop the smell for weeks, months hoping it would go away. My first son, my first rival, my twin. The 19 year old was an athlete and graduate. Do you have any idea who you took him from? Any idea? Stallworth's attorneys say she and Robert Robb were addicted to crack and that's what led to the stabbing and gruesome discovery in this Westwood home in 2021 weeks after police put out a missing persons alert for Dominique. 73 days, did he cry out for me? Did he ask where his dad was? Did he beg you to stop? Nothing like a parent's pain. The same door you sealed him behind, you sealed your own face. I have to forgive you, but I don't want to. But I know this is what Dominique would want. Stallworth sentence, 11 years in prison. As far as I'm, as I'm concerned, you can go to hell. The other man charged in this case is Robert Robb. He's got a plea hearing set for later this month in front of Judge Lubers as well. Kristen.